I'm put up with changes. Come pick me up because I just want to see the light. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am here with another slow cooker Sunday. Today I'm going to be sharing with you a slow cooker taco casserole or taco bake, whatever you want to call it. And yeah, if you're excited about this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. It helps me out so much. And if you're not subscribed to my channel, please do so you don't miss out on any future videos like this. I also love to do grocery hauls and day in the life and some other fun hauls. So stick around for that, hit the notification bell, and let's get into this slow cooker taco casserole recipe. So what you're gonna need for this recipe is you are going to need some sea salt, some black pepper, some ground cumin. Um, the recipe doesn't call for garlic powder, but I'm gonna do a little bit of garlic powder because I always like to add garlic to my recipes. And then you're gonna need some chili powder. And then the recipe I'm following says you can use cayenne pepper, but I am going to use a little bit of this hot Mexican style chili powder just for extra spice to it. And then you're going to need two cans of diced tomatoes. And the recipe that I'm following is like low sodium everything. I'm not gonna be using the low sodium version, just regular. So if you wanna follow that version, then you're gonna wanna go to that recipe that's down in my description box. Two cans of these diced tomatoes with their juices, a can of pinto beans, a can of black beans, a yellow onion. I'm using a sweet onion because I just love sweet onions, especially when they're available. And then I got one pack of ground turkey. Mine is 93% lean, 7% fat. You're gonna need two cups of sharp cheddar cheese. That's what I'm doing, but you could also use Monterey Jack and any other kind of Mexican style cheese if you would like. And some and Hello, Okay guys, future Sarah here. I just realized while I was reading my recipe that there is no enchilada sauce in this recipe. So scratch the enchilada sauce part, guys. I had like two different recipes I was looking at back and forth and I thought this one had enchilada sauce in it but it doesn't sorry for the mix-up let's get on with the recipe and then you're gonna need six flour tortillas and then some olive oil to grease your crock pot or some cooking spray and then guys I'm gonna show you over here the toppings I'm going to do after it's done I'm gonna top it with some shredded iceberg lettuce. I just thought that'd be really good and give it a fresh vibe some guacamole some sour cream and then some diced fresh tomatoes. I just thought that'd be really good. Those are my ideas for some toppings. Of course, you could do whatever toppings you like for your family, or you could just have it just the way it is, and you're still gonna have a really good meal. So let's get cooking, guys, and get this going. Pick me up cause I just wanna see the light. So I'm gonna show you the spices we're gonna use in the sauce mixture that's after the ground turkey. So you're gonna need two tablespoons of chili powder. One tablespoon of cumin. And then I'm just gonna use a little dash of this hot Mexican chili style powder to give it a little extra spice, but not too much. And then I'm gonna do a half a teaspoon of garlic powder. So I'm gonna mix this up. You obviously don't have to mix this all up like this. I'm just showing you for the sake of measuring out for you guys so you know how much is going in there. And then this is what you got for your spice mixture. So I'm gonna add the onion, and this recipe also called for a bell pepper, but I am not going to be doing that because I don't have one. And I'm just gonna be using an onion, and then I'm gonna salt and pepper this mixture and get it all browned up, and then I'm gonna add in the beans and the tomatoes. So I'm gonna add in one teaspoon of sea salt and then a half a teaspoon of black pepper. So now I'm gonna add in the spices that we just measured out. And we're gonna cook those until fragrant, about 30 seconds to one minute. 
So then you're going to add your diced tomatoes in their juices, two cans of that. And then you're gonna add in your two cans of drained pinto and black beans. So we're gonna stir this and continue to cook this for about five to 10 minutes until the tomatoes have broken down and most of their liquid has cooked off. And then we're gonna remove this from the heat and we're going to start layering our dish in the crock pot. I'm gonna oil my crock pot. I do not have cooking spray, so I just like to use a napkin with some oil on it. Teach me to fly, I won't be coming down. The meat bean tomato mixture is all ready to go. Everything is cooked. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna spread some of this on the bottom. That's the first layer. I just see your face wherever I look, she's standing. We're gonna do that, and then we're gonna add in our two tortillas. And you're gonna lay these in there and you're gonna kind of fold them in. And then you're gonna add in some cheese, sprinkle some of your cheese on top. About half cup or so. And then you're gonna do another layer with the tortillas. Two more of those. I'm so sick of waiting. And then another layer of cheese. And you're supposed to like reserve about a half cup of cheese for the top. I'm gonna actually grate some more because I really like cheese. So I'm gonna put a good amount of cheese on this layer and then grate some more for the end part of the casserole. Um, so I'm just gonna go ahead and use both um, cups of cheese right now and then I'm just gonna grate more cheese. So I would say to get enough cheese for two cups of cheese for this part and then another half to one cup of cheese for the top. Okay guys, so I'm just spreading this across. I wish I had a little more sauce on top, um, but I'm just gonna get everything moistened just so that it's not dry. All right guys, so this is what it looks like, all ready to go. This is gonna cook on high for two to three hours, depending on your slow cooker and how like hot it gets. My slow cooker gets pretty hot, so I'm guessing this is only gonna be about two hours. And then I'm gonna add in the cheese at the end of the cooking time, about the last 10 minutes. I'll add in my last cup of cheese and then it'll be ready to serve. It has been two hours and I'm gonna check it because like I said earlier, my crock pot does cook on the hot side. So I'm gonna do my cheese if it's ready to go. So we're gonna look at it here. It smells so good. It is like bubbling and the tortilla looks all cooked. It looks so yummy. So yeah, I'm going to put the cheese on top and put this um, and then cover it for another 10 to 15 minutes until the cheese is nice and melted. So it has been about 15 minutes and I'm gonna uncover this and dinner is ready. All right guys, so this is what dinner looks like without all the toppings. All righty, so this is what it looks like with all the goodies. I did some shredded iceberg lettuce, some fresh diced tomatoes, and some guacamole, and then some sour cream. I'm so excited to try this out, and I'll let you guys know how it is. All right guys, so I am eating my dinner and I highly recommend this dinner. It's really fun for like Taco Tuesday and it definitely needs like the crunch of the iceberg lettuce. So I highly recommend putting that with this. It's really good, it has really good spices and flavor. So it's a big thumbs up from me. My girls like it. One of my girls gave it 99 stars. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoy this recipe. Leave me a comment down below if you are going to try this out 
And yeah, I hope you guys have a great rest of your weekend. Leave me an emoji down below, a fall emoji because it's fall now. And say hi in the comments and have a great rest of your day. All right, guys. Bye. So I let go, let go. I don't want to, but I'm gonna try when she left me. Yeah, but a little bit inside.